Gun Meme Review. What is up, you sexy YouTube mother lovers, and welcome back to another episode of Gun Meme Review. But before we jump into the memes, this episode, I, uh, I lost a bet. A bet I forgot that I made and you guys reminded me of. Thanks. So just over two years ago, I did a gun meme review where I was LARPing as Tactical Ken, aka Mark McCloskey. Summer 2020, shit was wild, man. But it was somewhere in that video where I said this. When he has achieved Brandon Herrera's status of hair, I'll cut mine, shave everything, put a mustache. That is my promise to you. Totally forgot ever saying that, by the way. I make a lot of videos. But now for the first time in our friendship, Donut actually has longer hair than I do. And, uh, well, you could say a lot of things about me, but... <sighs> I'm a man of my word. I'll be right back. A few moments later... Alright, well, there we are. Uh, you know what, on second thought, I don't know if I'm sold on the horseshoe. Give me another minute. More moments later... There we go, that's better. You see? Promises made, promises kept. Why, yes ma'am, I, I have seen the new Top Gun. Why do you ask? Not even trying to lie to you, showing up to a 4th of July barbecue with the horseshoe is one of my favorite things I've ever done. But anyhow, we have plenty of gun memes to go over in this episode of GMR. From anti-gunners, to court victories, to offensive memes about the Maxim machine gun. So first up, in gun news. Now you might remember we did a video about two weeks ago about the Supreme Court decision about the Second Amendment. Super long story, super short, the Supreme Court stood behind the Second Amendment and reaffirmed that it applied beyond the home toward, you know, the right to carry. They also used a lot of verbiage that set legal precedent fortifying gun rights. Well, as of a few days ago, we stacked another W. California. Magazine and assault weapon bans are... unconstitutional. Yes, based Clarence Thomas continues to be based. Due to their decision two weeks ago, they've decided to throw out a bunch of other gun cases back to lower courts for further consideration. Their reasoning is pretty simple. Those previous federal court rulings that basically upheld magazine bans and assault weapons bans as constitutional were made before the legal precedents of the more recent Supreme Court decision. TLDR, the Supreme Court went to the federal courts and said, well, we've already slapped your PP on this New York decision, so we're gonna kick these back to you for further consideration. Uh, I'm sure that you'll make the right decision. Will they? Ah, it's politics in 2022, who the fuck knows? Things only can get worse for gun rights. We can't win this in the system. 2002 versus 2022. Then, assault weapons are banned. Now, the AR-15 is the most common gun. Back then, 10 plus capacity magazines were illegal. Now they're 12 bucks at any Cabela's. 2002, courts thought the Second Amendment is considered a collective right of the militia. Modern day, the Second Amendment is an individual right and it extends to carrying guns in public. And one of my personal favorites, a US map of the right to carry in 2002 versus the rights to carry in 2022. So my white pill for you today, even though the battle might be frustrating, we have been making considerable progress in several areas for the last two decades. You guys keep up fighting the good fight and we'll keep celebrating victories. Love me constitution, eight gun laws. Simple as. But that of course doesn't mean that the anti-gunners won't be there to re about it. I just bought a gun. Wow, I bet your dick is tiny. What? Your throbbing cock must be so small I can't stop imagining how tiny it is. What? It's amazing to me how many anti-gunners have just held on to this trope that guns are just compensating for small dicks. I guess it's the same thing we do for guys with like the loud lifted trucks and shit like that. But still, it's a really odd fixation. Like bro, we're debating on a constitutional and natural right. Stop talking about my cock. Me with 15 years worth of saved studies debunking gun control. A middle school March for Our Lives protester. Speaking of March for Our Lives, uh, holy shit, I, I cannot believe we haven't covered this yet. So last month, there was a big March for Our Lives protest. Basically a bunch of bored Karens dragging their kids to hold a sign for them. Anyhow, everything was going fine when suddenly it erupted into a mass panic. A Lion King style stampede erupted, which ended up injuring six people. Now why? Somebody, and I'm not condoning this, this is not, you should not do this. During a moment of silence, somebody in the crowd yelled, quote, I am the gun. This was enough to cause a literal stampede. I don't even know what to say to that. These people are so hoplophobic that it's not even funny. But as always, one of the biggest threats to the Second Amendment isn't just from outsiders, it's from people within our own community. 
Well, I served in the military, and the Second Amendment is cool and all, but I think... me. Yeah, some people seem to forget that when you swear an oath to support and defend the U.S. Constitution against all enemies, foreign and domestic, that implies all of the Constitution. I also think it's important that you can recognize and honor those veterans who have gone on to do great things for their country, while also separately being able to call them out for when they say something kind of dumb. New Buzz Lightyear looks like he's about to use his status as a veteran to advocate for gun control. That is one of the things that bothers me the most. When somebody did like three, four years in the military, didn't deploy, just went through basic training, and then suddenly a decade after that, after not picking up a gun since they left, they're now a combat weapons expert and need to tell you why you need to turn in your AR-15s. In reality, most likely you were not a weapons expert. You qualified just enough to be able to fill sandbags and stand at a guard post. By the way, that's not a dig on veterans, not, not even a little bit. It's a dig on those who think going through basic training makes you an expert on constitutional law. But pivoting out of the serious stuff and into a gun meme review classic, we have the Marty Robbins meme. Belt-fed MG ballads and inventing songs. Hiram Maxim. MG Hiram. Water-cooled. Brandon the Kid. 560 RPM. They're still shooting me today. The 762x54R's call. The gun mortgage loan. Cool run and gun. Scramble for Africa. In Matabale. Matabele. In Mata... Matabele? What the fuck? UK Hiram. The Little Colonial Valley. Scramble for Africa. Full length version. And I don't even want to hear it from people who think that we do too many Marty Robbins memes, okay? Madonna, Blondie, Bowie, Beatles. Music. We need music. This is music. Put some respect on Marty's name. I really fucking love how much that Maxim video has like turned people on to the genius that was here on Maxim and how cool Maxim machine guns are. If you aren't familiar, we did a video breaking down the Maxim machine gun, doing a lot of cool stuff with it. It's really cool if you haven't checked it out yet. But there's one bit in particular that kind of became a meme. Referencing, of course, the Maxim's involvement in certain colonization efforts. POV, your tribe has natural resources. POV, you've decided that my stuff is worth more than your life. Little fucked up in the original context. POV, I value your stuff more than your life. As said in the video, rinse and repeat until you have all the oil or gold that you could possibly want. Thankfully, we live in a relatively more civilized age now. If you want gold, you don't even need a Maxim. All you need to do is support our sponsors and go down in the description in the pinned comment and check out Acre Gold. It's a subscription service like Netflix, but instead of getting woke propaganda, you get tangible gold. All of this without having to uh, indenture indigenous peoples. Isn't progress great? <laughs> Anyhow, all jokes aside, we appreciate Acre Gold as a sponsor. Go ahead and check them out. Back to the gun memes. POV. The Biden government has banned all ammunition imports, and Ian heard you had a line on a smuggled shipment of 32 French long. Getting between Ian and a stockpile of 32 French long ammo is kind of like killing John Wick's dog. You just don't fucking do it. They cut down my happy tree. This works so fucking well because way back in the day, they actually nicknamed the Maxim the Devil's Paintbrush. They cut down my happy trees. So I'm just gonna pick up the Devil's Paintbrush and paint me a new picture. You call it a war crime. I call it a happy accident. POV, you posted a gun image you think is cringe, but only because you don't know what it is. Dude, I get so much of this for cursed gun images. People just send me shit, they don't know what it is, so they're just like, oh, look at my cursed gun. It's probably not cursed production gun that you just didn't know about. Also, I think it's about time for another cursed gun images, so if you guys have suggestions, let me know. The two I've been tossing around are the prototype cursed gun images, you know, guns that we know today that were really cursed in their design phase, and blurst gun images, which are gun images that are both cursed and blessed at the same time. Like, you're not really sure how to feel about them. So if you want to make sure you don't miss that video, don't just rely on the algorithm to help you out. It's pretty unreliable. Make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can join the hashtag AKG Notification Squad. POV, you aren't a member of the AKG Notification Squad. The 22 lr cartridge jams on average once every 12 rounds. The only question is, how do we jam the other 11? Man, I feel like I need to pick up one of these Zip 22s now. Like, I want to know if it is actually as bad as everybody says it is. In my experience, the answer is usually yes. Let me know down in the comments if that's something you guys would like to see. So I have seen this picture going around the internet, and I'm not sure if it's real or not. Ratshot 50 BMG. 50 BMG Ratshot. Rat. 
So rat shot or snake shot is when you take a, a you know what should be a solid projectile cartridge and you just load it full of little pellets. They use it a lot for handguns and revolvers and whatnot for just taking care of snakes out on the ranch, you know, whatever. 50 BMG rat shot sounds like a meme and I'm pretty sure it is. If not, that's fucking terrifying. Both to whatever you're shooting at and to the rifling of your very expensive 50 cal. Americans when the trees start speaking Vietnamese. Russians when the snow starts speaking Finnish. The ATF when the Appalachians start playing dueling banjos. Whether your feds trying to illegally confiscate firearms or an invading third party military from another country, the Appalachians and pretty much the entire South is gonna be a no man's land for a good while. As the Japanese said during World War II, there will be a rifle behind every blade of grass. And let's be real, a Derringer pistol under every granny's wheelchair. The gay weed farmer neighbors real libertarians always bring up when wanting everyone's 2A rights protected. That was me and Cody on a boys day out shopping trip. He bought a new AR, I bought, well, yeah, I'll, I'll show you guys in a future video probably. Also worth pointing out that we're not weed farmers and we're not gay. Man, sometimes I wish I was gay. Imagine how much simpler life would be. Man, why do women have to be hot? Damn you, testosterone! Oxide, Brandon, Polinar Tactical, the AK-12 is shit. Also missing from this picture is Tim from Military Arms Channel and my boy Henry from Nine Hole. Which by the way, me and him had a great conversation about the AK-12 over on his podcasting channel. Mostly talking about why, eh, I don't necessarily think it's shit. I mean, it's, it's a cool gun. It's just shit compared to what it should have been. That, that, that is what it should have been. A sure shot armament group AK is what the AK-12 wishes it could be. And before anybody says, oh, this is anti-Russian propaganda, it's not. It's the anti-Russian Russian government, which is not entirely dissimilar from our anti-American American government. See, to our Russian audience, we have more in common than you think. Anyhow, before I get put on another list, this is probably a great place to end this segment. Thank you so much for watching another episode of Gun Meme Review. Please remember to subscribe and let me know what you think of the stash. I might keep it for another video, I might not, but either way, I don't think I'm allowed within 500 yards of a school. But either way, I wanted to thank you for watching, and as always, I will see you sexy YouTube mother lovers in the next video. Thanks, guys. Fuel is my obsession to make the perfect weapon like us put his eyes to the top. But I can't let you can stop, 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 can stop. And I promise you, all the rumors you've heard about me having a small dick are just hearsay. Plus, it was clearly enough for your mother.